basically to allow people to say just that. Because you begin to see the depth of the problem that BBI is beginning to address. Uh, so I would not go down hard on Elekina. I would take him as an indication of what. So trying to discipline him, uh, to, uh, to look like you were persecuting him, you are basically not within the spirit of BBI. If you remember the Truth and Justice Commission in South Africa, essentially this is the vial. Mm -hmm. This is the rancor that come from this kind of process. Allow the Olekinas to speak out so that we, need, we know the depth of the threat that this country is facing. And people begin to appreciate what BBI is all about. So the first issue that comes from Olekina's statement is about citizenship and the levels of citizenship that we begin to perceive. There are those of us who, see, who talk about the Kenyan citizenship the kind the general is talking about. I can buy land anywhere, I can build a house anybody, I can marry anybody's daughter, and I can go to any school anywhere, and I can be a member of any uh, uh, denomination, Christian, Muslim, or otherwise. That is now the national citizenship. The second is ethnic citizenship. Those who see us versus them. Those who t talk about indigenous or what uh, the Ugandan scholar Mahabud Mbamdan would talk about citizens and subjects. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the indigenous versus mm -hmm. the settlers, mm -hmm. natives and citizens. Uh, all these us versus them divides are beginning now to emerge. And what Olekina is talking about is Maasai citizenship, which is basically ethnic citizenship. And we don't need to forget about it. So the aspiration is Every Kenyan is a citizen of Kenya. And every Kenyan can be in any part of Kenya. But you have to deal with the red mines of ethnic citizenship where you buy land and it's still defined as a foreigner in your own country. My, my view is there are no foreigners in Kenya. Very quickly, let us see BBI as our equivalent of the Truth and Reconstruction Commission. What the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in South Africa did not have is the legal aspect that came with, with the TGRC, that everything must ultimately end up in court. There is a place for forgiveness. There is a place for healing. There is a place for understanding our own peculiarities. But for politicians like Kolekine, I think they have a challenge. And the challenge is not to aggravate the politics of grievance. Nobody wants to see Maasai as Native Americans in reserves. Mm -hmm. They are kith and kin. In fact, if you look at it, the Maasai all along have had our security docket. They are our, our guardians, and the guardians of, our, if you go to the internal ministry and so on, in our militaries and so on. So there is no, there is no situation where the Maasai will be the, African, the Native Americans. But, but Olekina's statement, is speaking to the possibility of that, and we must listen to that. Right. So before we take a short break, uh, yes. I just wanted to ask uh, briefly, then we'll actually just be marinating over that. You say that the BBA now is a panacea to you know, address these uh, historical injustices as it is. Right? Looking at the land issue, and you call it a landmine right now, we've had these landmines from before. Mm -hmm. We have the TJRC report, yes. which has not been uh, recommended. We have the Ndumu report, which has not been recommended. Don't you think these were actually, you know, some of the curative measures that we'll have taken from the TGRC report, just, just briefly, from the TGRC report or also from the Ndungu report to address this? If we had actually tackled all the issues that were raised from the report, oh. we wouldn't be dealing with this already festering wound of oh. historical injustices in this country. Right? I would, I would, let, let, let's yeah. just uh, marinate so over that. Yeah. When we circle back, we continue with that yeah. and try and see where, where, how deep that, does it really cut, mm. Mm. right? right? Mm. Yeah. Because we know Masai's uh, from Wasingishu County, yeah. uh, they were pushed away. Uh, you know, most of them uh, there, I think they are the Samburus, uh, yeah. they were pushed away from uh, Wasingishu County. Maasai, they have a very wide, exp from Laikipia as well, they were pushed yeah. away from Laikipia and going all the way up, I think up to Zambia? Yes. Yes, the huge tracts of land. Yes. So we, we need to just uh, address that issue and see why do we need the BBI? We had the TJRC report, we had the Ndungu report. Why do we need to, you know, uh, 
already just um, come up with, the, with with solutions which are already there that we know. We take a short break right now. When we circle back, we continue with more.